Uh, welcome back, boys and girls, to the MadCenter.com. Um, once again, uh, here are a couple of videos uh, which where I talk about uh, the latest November exam paper on accounting. The code is 0452. This exam paper is 0452, paper 12 for the recent uh, winter exam uh, last year. Okay, so I've gone through the paper. There are a few questions here which I find very interesting and I want to talk about. Uh, they are quite technical, so I thought that I hope that by having this video, it will help you. All right. So uh, once again, before I forget, do give us a like and share uh, as much as you can. Uh, and do check us out, all right? Uh, all our courses for maths, at maths, A-levels, maths, physics, accounting, uh, all for IGCSE and A-levels and IB. All right. So here goes. Now this uh, question, I put it at the back here. Uh, this is how I like it. I like to show the question and then I use the blank space to work on it, okay? Now let's take a look. It says, look at the question, a trader paid uh, 1,800 for insurance, 3,200 for rent, both are expenses, okay? At the end of the financial year, she transferred uh, insur to insurance, 1,500 and rent 3,600. This would be to the income statement. That means she's saying that uh, the expense for that year for insurance would have been 1,500 and rent 3,600. What do balances remaining on the accounts at the end of the year represent? So basically, I guess this question asking you is to uh, tell whether this is an accrued expense or a prepaid expense. Now, very quickly, accrued expense means uh, amounts incurred in that year, but which has not been paid. So that is a liability. Uh, whereas prepaid expense would be an expense that you paid in the current year uh, for the, but you have not been given service. That means you pay ahead for the following year. And so prepaid expense by its nature is a current asset. All right. So let's take a look. Very simple entry. Okay, so I open an account for insurance. In all our videos, as in all our teaching, I always explain it in terms of uh, double entry. I feel that that's the best way to learn. Now, let's see. Now, if you pay, that means let's imagine that we pay by bank, right? So we pay by bank, 1,800, and we pay 3,200 uh, by rent. So obviously in the bank account, it would be 1,800 paid for insurance and 3,200 for rent. Okay, let's look, let's look at the double entry. So I've credited my bank debit insurance 1,800 here I've written bank and the rent here again credit bank 3,200 and debit 3,200 to the rent uh, expense account. Okay, then what happens? Look carefully, read very carefully, do it slowly. At the end of the year, she transferred insurance 1,500 right to income statement. Income statement, uh, this would be an expense when you transfer the income statement, you would debit your income statement and by necessity, you would credit. I ask is my uh, short form for income statement, all right? But in exam, please do not write short form. Please write it in full income statement. Okay, maybe I'll do that uh, so that I also have good practices for you people to follow, okay? So here I will write here income statement. 1,500 and rent was to income statement. I will debited income statement and credit rent or transfer this 3,600 from the rent account. Now let's look at the insurance account. So the total is 1,800. So by necessity, right hand side should be 1,800. 300 is a balancing figure, which I will write here, balance carried down and bring down to the next year. Balance brought down next year of 300. You always look at the first day of the following month or the next year's. Uh, let's say, imagine that this was, uh, if this was had, if this had been, let's say, December 31st was the financial year, then this by necessity would be January the 1st. Let's say, la. so now this is 300. 300 is uh, on the debit side, right? And therefore, this is a current asset. And therefore, by nature, this is a prepayment. So it's prepaid is either C or D. Now let's take a look at uh, rent. 
okay, rent on the credit side is 3,600. Therefore, left-hand side should also be 3,600. But we put in a balancing figure and we call this balance carried down. Imagine the last day of the financial year was December 31st. And again, we carry it down to the first of next year, it would have been 400. Now this, look at the January the 1st, is on the credit side and therefore by its nature, this is a current liability. And so this is an expense accrued, okay? And so therefore, yeah, this is wrong, this is right. So therefore by, that your answer surely must be C, okay? And we are done. I hope you enjoyed uh, this simple explanation of this question, which is question number four of the recent November paper of your accounting 045212. Uh, All right, uh, do share uh, with your friends and follow us on Facebook uh, and YouTube. All right, I'll see you soon. In the next video, I'll look at another question. All right, I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.